Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will see and study edio.net objects. Edio.net includes many objects you can use to work with data. This section introduces some of the primary objects you will use. Over the course of this tutorial, you will be exposed to many more edio.net objects from the perspective of how they are used in particular tutorial. So let's see various objects of edio.net. First is the SQL connection object. To interact with the database, you must have a connection to it. The connection helps identify the database server, the database name, username, password and other parameters that are required for connection to the database. A connection object is used by a command object so they will know which database to execute the command on. Now let's see SQL command object. The process of interacting with database means that you must specify the action you want to occur. This is done with a command object. You can use a command object to send SQL statement to the database. A command object uses a SQL connection object to figure out which database to communicate with. Now let's see SQL data reader object. Many data operation require that you only get a stream of data for a reading. The data reader object allow you to obtain the result of select statement from a command object. For a performance reason, the data written from data reader is a fast forward only. This means that you can only pull the data from the stream in a sequential manner. This is good for speed. So this is about SQL data reader object. Now let's see data set object. Data set objects are in memory representation of data. They contain multiple data table object which contain columns and rows just like normal database tables. You can even define relationship between tables to create parent child relationship. The data set is specifically designed to help manage data in memory and to support disconnected operation on data when such a scenario makes sense. So this is about data set object. Now let's see last object which is SQL data adapter object. Sometime the data you work with the primarily read only and you rarely need to make changes to the underlying data source. Some situation also call for catching the data in memory to minimize the number of database calls for data that doesn't change. The data adapter make it easy for you accomplish these things by helping to manage data in disconnected mode. So this is about various object of edio.net. Use of this all object we will see in further tutorials. This is just introduction to all object. Thank you.